dear sixth sem ec stream students welcome back into another video hope you are all doing well and hope you have completed your preparation for your first subject as tomorrow is your examination now i am with the important questions video for your second subject uh, that is microwave theory and antennas 21 ec 62 there are a lot of numericals derivations and theoretical portions so it, totally it is the intermixing of theoretical portions and numerical portion so i will discuss here the derivations and theoretical part later on i will tell you where you have to go for the numericals which papers you have to refer right Next, uh, so let us start uh, model wise questions important questions over here from the model first with neat block diagram explain the typical microwave system with neat diagram explain the construction details of gun diode briefly explain about gun effect here we have the uh, expression that is derive the equation of transmission line with possible solution and explain salient features of uh, Smith chart okay next is define uh, reflection coefficient derive uh, the equations for the reflection coefficients at the load end and at a distance d from the load end discuss the characteristics of magic t okay so as far as uh, numericals or problems are concerned you should refer 18 ec 63 and also model paper okay so that you can cover the varieties of numericals next is model second prove that impedance and admittance matrices are symmetrical for a reciprocal junction explain different types of attenuators with neat diagram explain the principle and working of precision time variable attenuator and derive the s matrix representation of a multi-port network this is super important question also define the losses in terms of s parameters with neat diagram explain the construction working and applications of isolator list the characteristics of the magic t when all the ports are terminated with a matched load also derive the expression of s matrix for magic t this is again a super important question most of the times vt has asked this question next is what are waveguide t's explain its basic types with neat diagram state the properties of s parameters why s parameters are preferred compared to z and y parameters for uh, operation in microwave frequencies this is all about model second now let us discuss model third in which one definite question is there and it is repeatedly uh, coming in the examination that is your a lo a lossless par parallel strip line has a conducting strip width w the su substrate dielectric separating two conducting strips has a relative dielectric constant of 6 and thickness of 4 mm calculate a uh, width w of the conducting strip in order to have a characteristic impedance of 50 omega the strip line uh, the strip line capacitance and uh, strip line inductance and phase velocity so these four terms you have to calculate in this particular question almost three times uh, vtu has asked this question in the examination so you should not lose these six to seven marks next is determine the directivity of the system if the radiation inten intensity is uh, u uh, which is equal to um cos q of theta or um sin theta sin q of phi so, so four to five problems you should practice on the directivity okay of the system where you are supposed to calculate or determine the directivity next is uh, discuss briefly micro strip lines and its losses and also derive the expression for quality factor and for these questions you have to prefer the paper 18 ec 63 which i earlier mentioned okay so 18 ec all right 18 ec 63 is the subject code next is the another question that is uh, define the following terms uh, with respect to antenna beam area radiation intensity beam efficiency directivity radiation pattern and explain the radio communication link in brief derive characteristic impedance of micro strip line and of shielded strip line so for both these uh, strip lines you have to calculate you have to derive characteristic impedance okay so this is all about model third now let's move to the model four these 20 marks you can easily grab if you cover these six uh, six questions starting from electric and magnetic potential obtain the far field components for short dipole derive an array factor expression in case of linear array of n isotropic point sources of equal amplitude and spacing Make use of pointing theorem uh, derive the expression for radiation resistance of short dipole with uniform current. And next we have derived the expression to calculate the band width of a given antenna and derive the field equations and draw the radiation pattern indicating HPBW and FNBW for two point sources. 
fed with equal amplitude and opposite phase or sometimes equal amplitude and equal phase next is explain the electric and magnetic fields of short dipole by covering this much portion you can easily get 20 marks from the model fourth so don't leave any question next is uh, model fifth uh, derive the far field expression for small loop antenna derive the expression for radiation resistance of loop antenna okay next is briefly explain helical antenna with its helical geometry explain its two modes of operation with the relevant equations explain the constructional details for following antenna that is yagi uda array and parabolic reflector and horn antenna and its types explain the directivity of circular loop antenna with uniform current also calculate the aperture of a dipole antenna so these are all important questions model wise for numericals you should refer the paper which i mentioned at 18 ec 63 in order to be in this safer side as i told you this is totally intermixing of derivations theoretical portions and uh, numerical part over the year so my best wishes are with you dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates so they can also refer these important questions as far as examination point of view okay so i wish you will clear the subject in the first attempt itself thank you